Hey everybody, welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. I'm Kara. Today I'm really excited to walk you through how to install and use the new Google Photos plugin for Obsidian. So I have one of these annoying user manuals for a new smoke detector that I got and I've digitized it so that I can put it in the recycle bin. I'm gonna do that right now. I wanna take those photos and put them into my Obsidian Vault. I keep everything related to this in my Villa and Homeowners Association page within my Facts of Life book. If you want to learn about my Facts of Life book, I actually teach a course on how to organize all of this information. It's not specific to Obsidian, although I am always happy to color anything with an Obsidian crayon. So if you'd like to join us, you can check the description below for information on how to do that. I'm going to show you where I want to put this on my Villa and Homeowners Association page. I've already made a page for my guest hall smoke detector. And I've made a note that I've installed it on December 30th of 2022 and that its warranty will expire in 10 years. So those were the two things that I thought were actually super important to this guide. I may never look at it again, but I'll have it just in case I need it. And that is the beauty of this new plugin. I'm going to demonstrate how to install the plugin to you in a different vault with a Google Photos ID that is not my normal one. That way I can delete this because I'm gonna show you how to get your security key for Google Photos. This way I can do that, delete it all, there's no security access issue, and then I'll just do the same thing in my other vault. So I'm here in a demo vault and we're gonna start by installing that Google Photos plugin. So I'm gonna go down to settings and I'm gonna to go to community plugins. If for some reason you don't have community plugins turned on yet, You'll see a much different screen here. It will just show, this is what that screen looks like because this is the only plugin I have in this vault so far. I'm gonna say turn on community plugins if you need to do that. Otherwise, just click browse. And then in the search box right here, type Google. And you'll already see it's this Google Photos that's by Alan Granger. This is the one that you want. So click that. And then we're gonna click install. If this is your first plugin, you can always read information about the plugin, how to use it, all of those sorts of things, what you're gonna to need to do. We're gonna walk through all of this stuff here in the video. Just hit install. And then as soon as you need to install it, you need to enable it. To get this to work, we do need to set our options. We need to add a client ID and a client secret from the Google Photos API. And so that's what we're gonna do next. If you've never done this before, I know it might sound a little bit scary, it's not super easy. So I'm gonna hit Open Photos API, and hmm, I got an error message when I did that. Let's try it a different way. So I'm gonna click that Get Documentation, and that takes us, let me bring that window over here, that takes us into the actual documentation in GitHub for this plugin. And I'll scroll down and we're going to hit visit this page right here, developers.google. There we go. It just is a different way to do it. No big deal. So you'll see right up here, you can do a developer profile if you want to. I don't think you need to do this. So let's hit dismiss. We'll try this down here if we do need to do it. I did it in my other account, but I don't think you have to. Hit enable the Google Photos Library API right here. There we go, and you'll need to name this. This is Obsidian Demo is what I'm gonna call it. The name doesn't really matter, but you'll wanna give it a name, especially if you, for any reason, develop other API connections with that. You wanna keep those separate so that you can troubleshoot them more easily. And so I've given it the Obsidian Demo. You do have to say, I agree, and then you hit Next. And then you wanna specify the product name, and so I'm gonna do Obsidian again. Google Photo Plugin, and I'm gonna hit Next. And then it will ask me to enable this. It asks you to do some different things and we're gonna be going, oops, from a desktop app and then hit Create. You're gonna get this client ID and this client secret. You do not wanna do what I am doing. Again, I'm gonna delete all of this as soon as I finish this video. You do not wanna share these with anyone. It's called secret for a reason, but I feel very comfortable doing this for this purpose. So I'm gonna copy my client ID and I'm gonna go back into that Obsidian Vault and I'm gonna enter that right here. I'm gonna paste it right here. 
And then I'm going to go back to that Google screen and I'm going to grab that secret. There we go. I copied that. And I'm going to come right back here and I'm going to, oops, I'm going to paste that. Okay, so that Google connection is now set up specifically with this vault. And I think this is a good time to say I do have multiple Google accounts as you're seeing. My personal account is set up in my personal vault. I don't think, I have not yet found a way to connect the same vault to multiple Google accounts. If like me, you have more than one and you want to use them that way, I don't think there's a way to do that. I've not asked the developer that because I don't have a need to do it. I store all of my photos in my personal vault, no matter what the use is for them. So now we're going to look at the different settings for our thumbnails that are going to come in. So the way that this plugin works is it will add a thumbnail from your Google Photos Vault and then it will link you out to the Google Photos Vault as well. So you'll have a tiny representation of the image and then you'll also have the link to the original image. Super convenient. So you can do the maximum width of that locally saved thumbnail and the height of that locally saved thumbnail. You can also customize the name if you want to. You can choose some different Moment.js text here. So if you want a different date format or a different time format, you can do that. I'm not going to change this. Right now, this works for me. You can also choose where you want this to go. I am going to put it into the same folder as the note. That's where I want my photos to go. And then you can default it to show photos just from the note date. If you say, if you're doing journal entries or something like that, you can do that. This will work perfectly today, but if you have any trouble seeing your photos, just come back in and turn this off. And then you do want to make sure that your daily note format matches what is here if you're using daily notes, because that will allow it to keep in sync between the two. All right, so we have our images set up to sync. Let's try it out. So I'm just going to close this window and I'm going to open up a new file here in this vault and we're going to call it photo demo. Super interesting. All right. So to add a photo into a page, you just do command P or control P if you're on windows command, if you're on Mac and you want to do Google, there we go. So there's Google photos, insert Google photo. You can also do photo. If you forget that it's Google, just click this and right over here, on this screen, something's going to open up asking which account you want to sync to. It looks like I need to set up my other account. I'll have to sign into that account. Let me grab that password. So I've grabbed that password for my password manager. I'm going to hit sign in. And it'll tell you that this is going to allow the Obsidian Google Photo plugin to view your Google Photos library. So you want to hit allow on this. And then here we go. So now we have this picker that will show our different photos. So I'm going to add these in the page order that they should go in. If I can remember what order that is, this is page number one. And then I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to control P photos. And then this is page number two and then command P photos. This is page number three and then command P photos. And this is page number four. And that is all there is to it. You can add photos as much as you want and you can add text with these. So if I wanted to say page one here or oops, page one or whatever else I wanted to say, I have that option. Again, what that did in our file browser is it added these Google photo images right here within the same folder as our note. I don't know why I'm not seeing my other four. That's interesting. Make sure they're not hiding somewhere else because I should see images of each of these over here. Oh, I'm seeing the exact same one each time. That's intriguing. I'm seeing the proper. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not seeing the same photo each time. Huh, I wonder if this is something unique with this Google account, because I know I've added multiple images to another account. Hmm. So I'm back in my primary vault and you can see that I do have multiple photos here on the left from January 11th, which is today. I don't know why I'm having that issue in my other vault. 
I'll reach out to the developer, but let's add the last two pages into my actual vault. There's nothing secret that I'm showing you now. So I need page three, which is, I think this one, there we go. And let's make sure that that added a new, yes. So now another photo was added into my vault. And then when I add in page four here, There we go. So that is how it is supposed to work. I don't know why I was having that problem in that demo vault where it was only adding in one photo, but it does work beautifully in my primary vault. I am using this plugin to add photos to recipes. Let me show you one of those. I made Cacio a Pepe the other day. So I easily added in a photo of my version of Cacio a Pepe. Definitely need to try it again. It was not perfect yet. If you've got a recipe, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to try it out. But I use photos in a lot of different workflows and this plugin has definitely streamlined those. So I'm super excited for you to try it out. Let me know if you have any experience with that odd issue that I had. Um, and if you figure out how to fix it, I will reach out to the developer though and also thank him. And because we should always do this for the developers, I will buy him a cup of coffee off of the page for him to support his development of a plugin that I love. So even though I had that weird issue, I know it works well in my actual vault. So I wish you the best of luck with it. If you have any questions about how to use the plugin, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit like. And if you'd like to see more content as soon as I publish it, hit subscribe. Thanks everybody.